At just about any festival in any part of the country, drugs feature big time, and in particular, MDMA. But the people doing it are getting younger. It's the drug of choice for 18 year olds at festivals like this or just regular nights out. The purity of the drug has also increased, exposing young lives to even larger doses. And it's now around online, making it easier than ever before to buy a class A drug. I've come to NAS Festival in Somerset. It's an event that celebrates music, skating and BMXing. The crowd here is young. 15,000 people will party over three days. And although the event has a zero tolerance on drugs, you can tell there are lots around. We've joined up with Leslie, which isn't his real name, and his mates. He's 18 and he's pretty open about his drug taking. Last year, that we had something that wasn't that strong, and so we could take one or two a night. It wasn't so you that know that what you're taking is stronger now. Yep. You're aware that there's a I do a lot of research before I buy it. MDMA is the main chemical element in what's commonly called ecstasy. The higher the amount of MDMA, the stronger the pill. He tells me that the MDMA he's taking this year is very strong. The night before, he said it was the first time he'd ever been scared about what he'd taken. Just when I was walking to one of the sets, it suddenly hit me, and I was off my face. Normally I react well. What does well mean? I'd be happy, I'd be um, just really excited, raring to go. So why do you do it? What's, what's the interest in doing it? I don't know, it's just you feel like you can do a lot more. <laughs> For this weekend, Leslie bought 24 pills. They cost him 85 pounds and he bought them off the internet, the so-called dark net. He says they are some of the strongest available, one of hundreds of varieties of MDMA. Do you have any idea what's in that? From what I know. Because he's buying online, Leslie thinks he knows what he's getting. So the quick answer to that is you don't know what's in it, really. Well, uh, but when you buy this on the internet, you're taking the word from... You're taking the word from the people who sells it on the yeah. internet. And you think that the level of purity in these drugs has been going up and up because you can buy them directly from the internet. You don't have to go to a middleman. No, you can literally just log on, click buy, and they get delivered to your doorstep. And do you think that's how most people here would be getting their drugs? Smart people, stupid people will get dirty stuff from the streets before they come. So you think because you buy it on the internet, you're sort of smart? They are, they are a lot cleaner from experience of what I've taken. Buying online has not only made getting drugs easier, it's meant that pills with higher concentrations of MDMA have become more widely available to people like Leslie. Without a dealer, those making the drug can sell directly to the user. <laughs> Organiser Ryan Matthews is clear his festival is against drugs, but it's difficult to see how an event like this can possibly stop it. The website, the policies are clear. That's a zero, zero tolerance. Because if you talk to people here, they, I don't think that message has got through. But everyone knows this is a low tolerance, zero tolerance. Um, we make sure that everyone's aware of it, it's on the terms and conditions, uh, and if people have bought anything on site, they are objective for this. A few hours later, and we're back. Leslie has taken a pill and you can see his eyes wide with the drug. So what have you taken so far? One pill and a little bit of coke. And are you feeling all right? The MDMA, is it stronger than you remember or is it? It's not as bad today as it was yesterday. I think it's because I didn't eat yesterday. Walking down from the campsite, I talked to his friend. I, I, I wouldn't want to touch it because you, know, you don't know what you're taking. You're, you're taking something that's been made in a probably a garage in Luton on the trading estate by some guy who's using God know what, because he doesn't care what it does to you, he's just getting some money. And the night really begins for Leslie and his friends and everyone else. No, I'm in a rap video. A lot of people here seem like they're on something. 
drugs have long been a part of growing up, but the drugs are getting stronger and the users younger. So it's just coming up to 12 o'clock. They've got another couple of hours left of partying in there. You can hear it's still going. We lost Leslie in the end, but what he did do is he gave me a pill and we're gonna go and get it tested to check just what's inside these things. Um, and then hopefully we're gonna meet up with him and tell him just what he was taking. This beach means barbecues, walks with the dogs, arguments, makeups, just playing with the kids, being with the family, family day trips out. Michelle Shevlin knows about the dangers of MDMA. In June this year, her 22-year-old daughter Stephanie died after taking a pill in a nightclub. When I found out the MDMA was one of the causes of her death, that contributed to her death. I was angry, upset, very annoyed. Still am annoyed. It's hard to understand how somebody can be here one minute and gone the next. I do cry, I cry to sleep, I cry when I wake up, I cry just cleaning the house. It doesn't get any easier and the days at the moment seem to be getting longer and harder. I just have to try and get through it as best as I know how. She's a mother in mourning, but also angry at the people who sold her daughter the pill that killed her. I just hope that person's losing sleep every night they're alive, because I'm a mother no longer. That was taken away from me seven weeks ago. I just hope that what they saw my daughter, I hope that £10 was worth it. I just hope it doesn't happen to another person, another child, another loved one. I just don't know how they can sleep at night. Two weeks have passed since the festival and Leslie's pill test is finished. I've come to Tic Tac Drug Identification in London to meet Trevor Shine for the results. So we gave you a pill uh, to test. Can you tell me what, what you found in it? Yours had 233 milligrams of MBMA in it. And if you go back, um, you know, traditionally the, an, an average dose in an ecstasy tablet would have been somewhere between 85 to 115 milligrams. So the, the one you brought in is considerably higher than that. And for someone to be taking maybe two or three of these in one evening, I mean, that's close to a gram of MDMA. It's a lot of MDMA to, for someone to have in their system. So, Leslie's pill was as strong as he thought it was. Trevor says it's incredibly rare for a user to know the exact dosage like this. So we know that Stephanie Shevlin, who died just a few weeks ago from an MDMA overdose, was taking this drug, the pink uh, Lego Man. But we also know that Leslie was taking a very powerful dose of MDMA and he hasn't uh, had any negative side effects. Well, I think that illustrates very well the lottery of taking unregulated illegal drugs. Um, yeah, there are a lot of reasons why, or a lot of ways in which drugs affect people and they affect people differently. Trevor says MDMA has had a definite resurgence this year with a greater variety of shapes and colors a sign, perhaps, of a growing market. I met back up with Leslie to tell him what we'd found. Can you remember what happened the rest of your night? I'd love to tell you, but I can't, I can't remember. Was it good? Did you have fun? Well, I can't remember, so I must have had fun. And did you take any more pills? Yes, I did. Because with um, MDMA, your isotonin sort of drop when you take it, so you have to take more to sort of feel the same effects as you did the first time. So yeah, I had to take quite a few more. So I have a certificate here and the only active substance in it was MDMA. Yes. And um, it was 33%. So it had 
pretty much exactly what you thought it was in it, 230 milligrams. Yeah, that's good then. Because it's risky buying it off the dark net and then it coming to you and you really don't know what they've said. What they've said couldn't, might not actually be what's actually in it. So it is pretty scary, but I mean, got lucky, I think. This time, the pills Leslie bought were what he thought they were, but what you actually get is still a lottery. So I think probably what he wanted to make clear was that this is an extraordinary amount of drugs to be taking. Yeah. <clears throat> I took about probably ten, nine, ten of them. And nine or ten? Nine or ten. So that's... That's still a lot. 2,300. Yeah. Because when you put it like that, that's a lot, isn't it? Yeah, but then I only took about three, four a night. We've also filmed with a, a woman, Michelle, whose daughter died just a few weeks ago, actually. And ago. yeah, in June. And she died after taking half a pill and then another half pill later in the evening. How does that scary. make you feel? It's really scary. I mean, considering how much I took and then how much she took, it's quite a big difference, and she died from it, unfortunately, but, I mean... What does that tell you? That I'm extremely lucky, I guess. Lucky, but I get the sense this won't be the last time Leslie takes drugs. The MDMA available to him and others his age is far stronger than it's ever been and much more readily available. But while the dangers are obvious, the party continues.